All right, guys, I'm back, and today we are going to a bike shop out here in San Antonio, Texas. I finally got the bike all set up right here on the back, and I also got the goods in the car. Say hi, little one. Hi. You ready to do this? Ready to get your ready to get it all set up? All right. All right, guys, so this is it right here. This is what we are going to be doing today, the Mack Rider. If you've never seen one of these, it's the most amazing thing in the world if you're a dad who wants to get their kid into mountain biking and just get them on the trail. So let's go get in there and check it out. So I'm gonna be working with this shop out here and I have not gone and done any videos with them yet. This is gonna be the first video that I've done with them. I told them what's going on. They wanna help me out. They wanna get this thing going for me and uh, hopefully we're gonna be working with the shop if everything goes well. So let's see how it goes. All right guys, I'm here at Gotta Ride Bikes. I walked in the other day and I really appreciated the atmosphere. I love the fact that these guys just like legitly had a couch like right inside. Like that's just, it was so inviting. These guys tell me they like to just make people feel involved and like not just some like annoyance who comes off the street and I got that vibe from this place. So I wanna see how it goes. We're gonna do our first install like video today and we're gonna show you guys what this Mac Rider is all about. All right guys, got me and my baby here. We got the stuff. What are you doing? Wanna close the door? Close the door for me please. Pop daddy out. Push it with the dolls. That's awesome. Cool. All right, so we're gonna get her set up so me and her can go out and ride on this thing with the bike on an intense. She's gonna be like the youngest girl on the most awesomest bike out there. All right guys, so like I told you, they have a chair. My daughter's right on it. They have a little table section while you're waiting for you know your bike to be worked on, all kinds of stuff like that. And I heard they also have a beverage fridge as well. All right guys, so I'm here with Nick. How you doing, Nick? Howdy. The manager from uh, Got Got to Ride Bikes. Got to Ride Bikes. Because there's like another store that's called like what's the other one? Right away. Right away. So yeah. don't get it confused. It's not right away. It's Got to Ride gotta Bikes. Got to Ride Bikes. Okay, so this is the manager here. He was kind enough to step up and you know do you know help me out with this project for my little girl over there, so we can get out and start riding and stuff like that. So we're gonna show you what we're doing today and how this thing goes on. But first, why don't I want Nick to let you guys know what the store is all about and what their philosophy behind what they do here is. So. Uh, basically we're a Scott and Fuji dealer and our most important thing for us is uh, getting people out on bikes we're not here to make a quick buck we're not trying to make a ton of money we just want to help the community and uh, any anybody who's got MS teams or anything like that you know a storm all the mountain bike stuff let us know if you need anything because that's what we want to do we just want to help you have a so you have a sofa and you said you guys also sell beverages here uh we do not sell beverages we have a complimentary beer fridge so oh. all you thirsty guys Come on by. Uh, same thing with water. We got a water cooler, so if you're uh, cruising down 1604 in the middle of your ride, you need water. It's all here, complimentary. See, that's what bike shops need to do nowadays to stay alive. Just community. So this is the box. This is the box that it comes in right here. So it's called the Mac Rider. Um, so I'm gonna open it up right now. I'm gonna find me something to slice it open with. So this is what this is what the box looks like. This is what's in it. It's gonna come with a evidently a really scrunched up paper for whatever reason. So if you can kind of see right here, this is what it looks like. It goes on the bike like so. So we got this stuff. I don't know what it is yet. And this is it right here. So this is basically the unit. What it looks like. Um, it's got adjustable like feet things right here. I'll show you more when it's actually installed on the bike. But you're gonna need the specific type of spacers for uh, whatever type of bike you have. So make sure if you're kind of confused on that. I was confused on that. I just told them a bike I had and what I needed and they kind of helped me, were able to help me out like over email. So that's uh, what you guys can do, something like that as well. Um, but other than that, let's get this thing going and let's meet the mechanic. All right, real quick, if you guys don't know and you guys are new to the channel, um, you guys might not know, but my daughter actually struggles, or not struggles, but has a disorder called neurofibromatosis which actually unfortunately makes her prone to, to cancer. So if you guys want to find out more about neurofibromatosis and maybe you guys could support the cause of research thing, because basically she's going to grow up and you know that she can have any day break out in tumors, she can get multiple types of cancers. Um, basically every day for her is like a 50-50 chance, but as of right now she's doing great. We don't know of anything wrong, super blessed, and um, just trying to move on and trying to keep, uh, you know, like I say, stay strong and keep pedaling, you know, it's like, so it means the world to me to be able to get my daughter out on this bike with me and, uh, 
you know, just to be on the trail with each other, you know, spend that quality time, you know, so. All right, guys, so this is Casey behind me. He is a mechanic here. Say hi, Casey. Hello. <laughs> All right, so one of the things that we have to do is I usually ride with my seat slammed. I am 5'6", and I ride a medium-sized bike, and I ha usually have to slam my seat, um, and I'm riding a 125 mil uh, dropper post. But because of this, like, installation that we're doing, I have to raise my seat a little bit, and I'm just going to have to, you know, work with it and just have my seat lower whenever I have the bike on. So that's something to take note of, that if your seat is slammed already, you're going to have to raise it up. What are you eating? You're having some peanut butter, huh? <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> All right, guys, so if you do not know, I ride the Intense Recluse um, Elite Build. So I have the carbon rims on here, stuff like that. So if you, oh, I have other videos on that if you want to check out what kind of bike I have. And, you know, I got it about a year ago now. So just go back, look at the videos, find out more information on that. All right, man, so why don't you tell us what tools we're going to need for this project? So starting out with the tools, obviously you're going to need some wire cutters. That's to get all the zip ties and packaging off. And then as for that, uh, definitely it's a carbon bike, carbon frame, so you definitely want to have some torque wrenches available. I have both one for the stem and then the seat post. And then other than that, it comes with the two spacers that go on your stem, the unit itself, and then these little grips for the child itself. Chocolate. Oh, we're joking, but they actually send you some like courtesy chocolate. Swiss chocolates. Yeah, I, I honestly thought these were like, like, like grease or something you're gonna have to put on there or something like that, but no, they're like legitimate chocolates to eat. So right. don't put chocolate on your grips. So first off, what we'll do is we'll take apart the actual front end of the bike. So loosen the stem bolts. So we loosen the stem bolts and then the top headset and then just for safety, just to keep from all your cables getting stretched in, you put a safety strap around it to keep it so you will have to remove the fork from the assembly. And this just keeps it from coming down so it holds it nice and safe so it won't fall down or anything. Looks like we'll remove one of your spacers. It's just simple as you install the spacer on here. I usually like to put a little bit of grease on everything just so you don't have to worry about any surfaces. It's easy as we slip it back on. Put the starter on there. And then you slide it on there. And then you just snug it up. It's just as easy as it clamps on. Put a little grease on there, especially on anything, any screws or nuts or bolts. All right, so this is a little piece right here. This is gonna go around the headset spacer right on there. All right guys, so here's like one of the spacers and you see how there's like a groove in the middle? Same thing, it's like grooved right here. What's gonna happen is it's gonna go tightly into there, perfect, and it's gonna go around like that in your headset. And what'll happen here is that this is the portion that will go around uh, your seat. I'm gonna have to lift my seat up on this one and it's gonna go around the, uh, the seat tube. There you go, see, like that. It's gonna screw in. Let's get it on. Go ahead, brother. All right, so we had to move it to the lower spacer to clear the stem. So now, a little texture to it so you can screw it in with your finger. Then, this guy right here telescopes out towards the seat post. And then, now, it goes on. There we go. And that's basically it. The child, the little. All right, so there's a little button on the inside that flips these out. So I'll press it in right here, and he's gonna move it on out, and it's gonna, the little piece is gonna go in right there, like so. Dude, so that's it. That is the most intense child riding bike I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? <laughs> She's like, what? I was into my peanut butter. All right guys, so basically right here, you can extend it to fit your bike, it can go in and out, and also if this looks too long, you can also adjust it here to fit your kid perfectly. The other thing that I thought was cool that I didn't know about this was that it actually comes with like little kid grips. Like you could actually take your grips off and everything and you can just put them on over here. You okay? Pound it. 
help. You know how to drive her. <laughs> Alright, so I got her on here. How you doing? You good? You excited? Can you put your hands right there? Put them right there, both of them. Okay, now where do your feet need to go? Your feet need to go right here. You can go right there. Right. Right here? Um, right there. Are you, how's that? You feel comfortable? Right there. And Daddy will hold this. Wanna put your hand right here? Put your hand right here. Okay, we'll do it like this. You're too scared? Are you okay? Are you excited? But kind of scared? <laughs> alright. This is gonna be cool, alright? We'll get this thing fitted a little better. All right, so there you guys have it. So she's kind of in there. I think I need to do some adjustment in the seat and stuff like that, because it'll move forward and backward. So we'll get her fitting a little bit more. I'll probably scoot it up just a bit. You got a little Allen uh, things down here. You loosen them up and you can kind of slide this seat forward or backward depending on like your guys' needs. You don't gotta be scared if your hands are on there. Like that down. See? Put them right next to daddy. But put them right there. Next to daddy. Mwah. Mwah. All right, guys. So I've been trying to get a hold of this company for a long time. They're called Mac Rider. Um, so finally, they basically basically got back to me and were like actually you know seemed really excited to actually work with me and get this thing done for my daughter um, so we're gonna get it out we're gonna go riding I'm gonna go get some video we're gonna go get some video of it right now and basically uh, show this thing off man but I gotta get her fitted right that's one thing I put her on there I'm not liking how she's fitting so we'll go home and we'll kind of get the seat just right for her and uh, just experiment a little bit to, to where I know she's comfortable so all right guys so let's get on the trail let's go <laughs> 